Мукали Макатаев is a poet who came from the people. While he exposed himself to the world's best poetry, he always retained his national identity. Макатаев's biography is as unique as his poetry. He is the son of the tragic, complex 20th century. At just 10 years old, he weathered the death of his father, who went to war and died heroically in the battle. Hence, as a boy, he took on the responsibility of taking care of his family, which included a grandmother, his mother, and two younger brothers. He survived all these hardships and difficulties of a wartime childhood, and this was reflected in his mind. He taught himself Russian and gained access to the world of classic poetry through the Russian language. Makhataev is special in that all his poetry is connected with his native land and specifically with the village of Karasas, where he was born, where he went his childhood, where he first fell in love. Mukhagali Makhataev was born in 1931, but his life was rather short. By 1976 he was gone. This short life was like a starburst. There was happiness and sorrow and trouble. There was war and the loss of loved ones. Yet he rendered a great service of poetry in spite of everything. Makataev's talent manifested itself very early. While his bright talent excited the imagination of readers, it also sparked a zealous response from his so-called fellow writers. Makataev was often humiliated. He was executed from the Professional Writers' Union and subjected to various political and party interviews. And after enrolling in the Gorky Literature Institute in Moscow in 1974, he was forced to quit his studies and return home. Makataev was an unrecognized boy during his lifetime. He was recognized by the people he was known and his books were published, but there was no official recognition of his talent. The well-deserved celebration of Makataev as an outstanding poet came only after his death, and not even in the late 20th century, but in the early 21st century. Makataev kept diaries, but these diaries were fragmentary. He kept them from time to time. In the last years of his life, however, and especially shortly before his death, he became more active in diary writing. 
And one day he turned to his fellow writers and said, Hey, organ grinders, I'm a poet of a new generation. My readers and admirers will still be waiting for me in the 21st century. And he, like a seer, paved this path, this idea that the 21st century would be his century. He was far from party ideology, and this also affected Makataev. The fact is that he was a poet of high talent, but he did not write ideological odes. Instead, his poetry was very close to the Kazakh people, to Kazakh nature, and many party officials, of course, could not tolerate this. Indeed, he was expelled from the Writers' Union allegedly for inappropriate behavior. His poetry was close and intelligible to every ordinary person, and thus, of course, he did not satisfy the party functionaries. It was probably a new phenomenon in literature and in Kazakh poetry for the poet to speak about poetry. It was unexpected, even dangerous, and here one might compare Makatayev with the great Russian Soviet poet Yosif Brodsky. There are some similarities between the poetry of Brodsky and Makatayev. They were contemporaries, they were practically the same age, and shared the fate of almost all great artists. Upon his death, Makatayev left behind more than a thousand poems. He worked in the genre of epic poems, of which he has more than a dozen, including When the White Swan Sleeps and Raimbek Raimbek. He was a translator, he translated classical words and Russian Soviet poetry into Kazakh. In my view, one of his greatest achievements was his Kazakh translation of Dante's Divine Comedy. Shortly before his death, he completed the first part, which is called Hell, Tamak. He planned to translate the entire Divine Comedy, but unfortunately death interrupted this flight of a great artist. The themes of Makataev's poetry are eternal. He wrote about love. Another of the main themes of his poetry is nature. He was born in nature. The small village of Karasaz, in which Makataev was born, is like a flat bowl surrounded by the pearl of mountains. And this nature in him gave birth to a poet who saw beautifully this beautiful world – flowers, herbs, mountains. Mountains were one of the pet themes of his poetry. He also talks about water. That is, he feels with his soul every blade of grass, every bush, which almost asks him to think about them, and he fulfills their wishes. Makataev had his own poetic guidelines. These were rooted, of course, in Abai. Abai's poetry was a source of thoughts and images of which he constantly spoke. Makataev was perhaps most interested in exploring his state of mind. He experienced many dramas in his life. He lost his father at the early age. Then when he moved to Almaty, his daughter died tragically. This pained him for the rest of his life. The official creative intelligence rejection of his poetry was also a heavy burden for him.
и вот эта трагедия или минорная трагедийность. Major and minor tragedies occupy a huge place in Makataev's poetry, and when a person delves into an inner dialogue, when he tries to extract his most hidden thoughts and feelings, then the resulting poetry is special. I can't say that it resembles Abai's poetry or the poetry of a Jarao. He is unique in his poetic research, in his poetic world. His words are very simple and accessible. His poetry feels like it could have been written by any one of us. It does not need to be translated with a dictionary. But this is a phenomenon of the inner depth of the poet thinker, the poet philosopher. The collection of words is very important for Makataev. Even through he repeated one sound several times, it has a different meaning. This applies to rhythm and some repetitive epics. In one of his poems, for example, he said that the short that cannot be used as a rope. It cannot bind. It cannot create any weave. In this poem, the main thing is a special sound of the Kazakh K. He repeats. This sound runs through the entire poem, and he repeats the word Kamukpa. Do not be sad, do not be upset. Six or seven times in the chorus of the poem, especially in its final lines. And why does he do this? To make a closing statement. He says, And this k is жалкан, that is a tired herd. He seems to absorb this last word, the whole strategy of understanding that life is very short and this transience of life, the uniqueness, what the main philosophical themes of his poetry. When Makataev realized that he was seriously ill, despair set in, prior to that, the mountain, the sun and nature had such a positive effect on him. But at the moment of expectation of death, these images of nature bear an extreme dramatic intensity. And he says, if you want to find me, look for me in these mountains. Loneliness became the main theme of his poetry. But like any poet, like any brilliant poet, he oversees this. In one of the eve of death, he sings a hymn to the same sun, the same mountains, and life itself. He understands that he is leaving this world, but he wants to leave this world behind him as eternally alive, just an infinite. Makataev has a poem called Shbakatam, My Three Happinesses. For him, happiness was the homeland, people, and language. The Kazakh language is now actively developing. By contrast, in the 1960s and 1970s, it's no secret that there were many Russian schools in Kazakhstan, and they predominated. In Almaty, in the 1970s, there was only one Kazakh school, school number 12. And so all of us who were born at that time, studied at that time, of course mastered the Russian language to perfection. 
But sooner or later we return to our origins, such as historical justice. Some return through language, others through culture and traditions. And Makhataev is the poet who returned and continues to return Kazakhs to their native language, because his poetry seems to breathe the Kazakh language. There you can find a lot of proverbs and sayings. He can define a single concept in any number of ways. Let's say he paints the image of a horse and almost 30 verbal descriptions. Among them there are also different definitions. When I wrote an article on the semantics of Makataev's image of a horse, I had to find out what suits of horse are. And I believe that he did not repeat himself, he gave a variety of color designations for horses. That is, I believe that Makataev's poetry is a brilliant textbook for the study of the Kazakh language. Thank you.